Hi, I'm Camila Gonzalez from the Technical University of Darmstadt. Thank you for tuning in on my presentation on self-supervised autodistribution detection for cardiac CMR segmentation. Let's begin with some background. The segmentation of cardiac structures from sign MR is important for the monitoring of ventricular function. Many deep learning segmentation models already successfully automate this task. However, generalizing to unseen vendors is still an open challenge. We see here four slices for an image taken with the Siemens Avanta scanner. The model trained with data acquired with the same scanner to the left is very good. In this case, reaching a dice of 96%. However, the segmentations produced by models trained with data taken with different scanners are of much lower quality. As expected, just looking at the maximum softmax values does not allow us to detect when a prediction is uncertain. As generalization to unseen vendors is still unresolved, we take the simpler path of detecting when images are out of distribution for a certain model. This would allow us to apply segmentation models for at least a subset of the data. Now, the use of cell supervision within segmentation models is growing in popularity. This is the case because it allows us to use data which is not annotated and also often increases model performance. So in this work, we design an auto distribution detection method specifically for cell supervised models. So how do we actually calculate the novelty of a new image? Well, we know that deep neural networks fail silently for auto distribution data for proxy tasks just as much as they fail for the target task, which is in our case semantic segmentation. However, the proxy task does not require annotations, which means that we can calculate the proxy loss during deployment. The main idea behind our method revolves around using the proxy task at test time as a novelty signal. We combine this with an uncertainty estimation term, which might be, for instance, deep ensembles if multiple trained models are available or Monte Carlo dropout otherwise. Ideally, this novelty function would work for any self-supervised model. In our work, we evaluate it on two architectures. The first has a contrastive learning proxy task. What this does is reduce the distance in feature space between an image and a slightly transformed version of the same image, as you can see in the examples on the right. At the same time, it increases the distance between the image and a second different image to ensure that sufficient geometric information is recorded in the features. Below, we see the part of the architecture that does regular segmentation in green. As a second architecture, we explore edge detection. The edge detection architecture has a shared encoder and two decoders, one for semantic segmentation and one for the detection of edges. We use the Kani edge algorithm to, the, to generate our ground truth edge masks. I'll now quickly summarize our results. Please refer to the paper for further details. We draw a boundary at the 95% true positive rate and record both the detection error and the false positive rate for this threshold. For contrastive learning, our proposed method outperforms the baselines for the three data sets explored in this work and for both settings with and without deep ensembles. Only in one case, the regular deep ensembles achieve a lower detection error than our method. Here, we see the novelty ranges recorded for all experiments. Ideally, novelty scores would cluster close to one for out of distribution data, and there would be a minimal overlap between the in distribution and out of distribution novelty scores. We see that the best separation is achieved by our method variation using deep ensembles to the far right. For edge detection, our method similarly outperforms the baselines. However, the detection of out of distribution samples is much more difficult with this proxy task. We see here that the separation between out of distribution and in distribution novelties is not nearly as clear as for contrastive learning. This implies that some proxy tasks may be better suited than others for our metric. To summarize, for self supervised models, combining the test time value of the proxy loss with uncertainty estimation is a reliable novelty signal that is also very lightweight to calculate. This is significant considering that these, there are more and more segmentation models that include a self supervised component. 
So we hope that monitoring proxy losses during deployment becomes a widespread method for quality assurance. Thank you for listening.